Hello, welcome to the Mark Gennard Show, the cybersecurity show. In this video, I'm going to go over the fastest route to become a cybersecurity engineer. No fluff. Let's get right into it. We're going dark. So what does a cybersecurity engineer do? So cybersecurity engineers design and develop cybersecurity software and systems for individuals and organizations. They identify vulnerabilities and create solutions for the specific issues or address them via system upgrades. They also oversee the implementation process and troubleshoot any complications that arise. Cybersecurity engineers take on many responsibilities, including penetration testing, the monitoring of threats and attacks, and system performance auditing, uh, they need a solid understanding of computer systems, networks, and operations to ensure that their cybersecurity system integrates well and protects all exposed areas. So what are some key cybersecurity engineering skills? Uh, okay, let's, let, 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 let's do a little, little rapid, right? We have the software design and development using various coding languages. Next, you have the system and network troubleshooting and maintenance. Next, penetration testing, ethical hacking, and vulnerability identification. Uh, next, operating systems and database platforms. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Once again, please take this very short and free moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Uh, next is access management and encryption methods. Next is security policies and privacy laws. That's a big one because they, they change each year and they become more sophisticated. Uh, lastly, we have intrusion detection and reporting. So there are many different paths you can choose to become a cybersecurity engineer. However, the purpose of this video is to make it more clear for you uh, because it can get convoluted and, and kind of confusing. So let's go over some of the steps. Step one, you're gonna wanna choose an educational path perspective, prospective, right? Uh, cybersecurity engineers typically start with a bachelor's program in computer science or computer engineering or a bachelor's in cybersecurity. In these disciplines, you develop the foundations for further studies and training. Many employers look for engineers with cybersecurity master's degrees, okay? So yes, you, you know, to really set yourself up to maximize your career, you, you're going to really want to take to, to look into getting an advanced uh, degree. So these degrees offer advanced analytical and research skills, which can be essential for cybersecurity engineers. You must understand complex issues and solutions and how to condense them into easier terms. Computer science covers computer programming, software development, and systems and operation uh, fundamentals, right? Uh, computer engineering covers engineering principles and processes, uh, along with the computer software development and system integration. Another option is taking cybersecurity boot camps or a self-guided path if you don't have the time or money to spend on a degree or changing careers. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Step two is very important probably even more important than step one, which is gain some experience in cybersecurity. Uh, higher education programs often offer internships, which can provide on the job training and field mentorship as well. Now it's highly, it's, it's, it's a great thing to get educated, have your bachelor's, have your master's in the cybersecurity space. However, you're going to need to, you know, pro, you know, show proof of experience learn on the go, right? So while expiring cybersecurity engineers can build experience through internships, that's a path, right? Uh, your practical experience journey really begins after graduation. Many organizations want cybersecurity engineers with at least three years of relevant professional experience and some positions may require up to five plus uh, years of experience because you're dealing with a lot of uh, data. And this data is very, very critical, right? So you don't just want some newbie on the block protecting critical information and apps. So you can pursue, pursue a cybersecurity specialist or analyst position to gain experience to become an engineer. So while learning how to work with different computer systems, network and cybersecurity technologies, you know, you'll become familiar with that software and the environment. So when it comes to the application side in a, you know, a, you know, a, a career or workspace, you will be you know, you got it. You got it. 
you'll, you'll be able to not panic when there's a cyber threat or attack. Step three, you know, you're going to want to get certified. Uh, even though it's not mandated, it's one of those, you know, invisible rules. Uh, professional certifications help cybersecurity engineers prove their expertise and experience in the field. As a result, many employers prefer candidates with these verified credentials. Employers value certifications differently, but some of the most popular certifications include this certification. You're going to hear it a lot and it you, you're going to hear a lot in different environments. So it behooves you to to get it, uh, which is the CISSP, also known as the Certified Information System Security Professional, right? That is uh, one of the most respected ones, if not the most respected one. You have the CompTIA Security Plus. You have the uh, Certified Information Security Manager, the CISM. You have the Certified Ethical Hacker, the CEH, right? The requirements to acquire these certifications vary depending on experience and things of that nature. So uh, you're definitely going to need a, at least a bachelor's degree, a few years of experience, and a passing grade on the certification exam, right? Experience. Uh, certification and education. Those three things are heavy hitters. Those make you really attractive. Number four, start applying for cybersecurity jobs, right? Because this piggybacks off of the experience. Uh, after completing the education and experience requirements and earning the appropriate certifications, you can pursue cybersecurity engineering jobs. You should start by updating your resume, making sure that uh, it's very, you know, compliant, relevant, and it, ha it has a lot of high quality projects into a portfolio to showcase your skills. Uh, you know, you're going to want to keep tabs on, on the environment, the space. What are some softwares? What are some cloud environments that people are using and get certifications in those, right? Stay ahead of the game. So part of the job preparation process may also involve building or updating your profile on major networking sites and social media platforms. Memberships with professional engineering and cybersecurity associations can also be valuable for networking and job searches. So speaking of job searches, the job search process can take different forms. Some job seekers use their professional network, some attend career fairs and networking events, and some apply for positions th through uh, job search boards. So in addition to the big networking sites and tech related job boards, uh, prospective cybersecurity engineers can leverage the job boards and networks from professional uh, associations, right? So this is not one of those things to where, the, the, you know, of, of many points of this video, this is probably the most vague because there are literally so many ways to get your first opportunity or, or you know, it, it, it's just so much. Some people is career fair, some people is networking on, on a job site, etc. You just have to figure out what's best for you. So there is uh, an enormous growth in cybersecurity, uh, you know, 50,000 information security analyst positions went unfilled. I believe this was as 2022 and nearly 600,000 job openings requested cybersecurity skills between October, 2021 and 2022. So this is coming up. Thanks for, uh, everything. Please hit the subscri subscribe button and the like button. I appreciate your viewership. See you in the next video.